Okay, so um, if any of you get uh, dizzy uh, when you're doing uh, katsu, there's a few, there could be a few reasons. One, um, uh, you aren't drinking enough. One thing that we always want to be with um, katsu is uh, be well hydrated, just like Laurel's drinking right now. Be very well hydrated. Um, and that means, Laurel, if you can hold up your cup again or your glass, that amount of water should be a consumed at least an hour before you start katsu. So mm -hmm. make sure that you have a full glass of water or something before, at least an hour before, and ideally a half an hour before um, katsu. Also, um, in the very beginning, um, those of you who have the kat cycle machine, we always recommend actually uh, starting off in the low, so group low um, is always the, the better thing to do. And you can always put your band on more tightly as you go along. So uh, we see um, John Doolittle putting his bands on. In the course of the workout, he can actually put his, he can re um, apply the bands and make the bands um, tighter. So um, yeah, those three, those three things. So A, always be well hydrated. Two, um, uh, start off in the low group low as your first cycle. And three, um, you can put on the bands conservatively in the beginning and then you can tighten up later if you so feel like it. And that if you want to, in order to avoid um, a dizziness, dizziness or lightheadedness, um, you may be a person who has natural um, low blood pressure, this could also uh, happen. So um, those three things. Uh, Captain Doolittle, did you have any uh, any additional thoughts? Um, the only thing I'd like to add, uh, Stephen, is after the first cycle is always a great time. If you need more base bread, if you need them a little tighter, after the first cycle is a great time to do that because the bands have a tendency to kind of work into the, 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 the skinniest part of your arm. So that's a great time to go ahead and snug it up a little bit. But, but. If you guys have already noticed how hard it is on your arms, uh, you don't need to make any changes. That's really for the leg bands. I really encourage you on the leg bands, go ahead and tighten it up after that first cycle. That's all I got. Thank you. Okay, Laurel, all yours. All right, we're starting Zoom, we're starting Instagram. Um, and I went ahead and popped my bands on about 10 minutes before our workout, just to kind of let my body acclimate. Um, so that's my new protocol for kind of preparing for really intense workout is just let my body get used to it before I go too crazy. So happy Friday, everyone. Uh, we've got some hard work today, but we're also going to do some stretching with on our bands at the very end. So we have a little treat to look forward to. Not that the workout's not a treat. Um, so go ahead and come on up to stand if you're not already standing. And let's just start to warm up the arms a little bit. Roll the shoulders out. I've got Instagram going on my right, and I've got Zoom going on my left. A lot of different channels. So we can all work out together on this fine Friday. Good, roll the shoulders other direction. All right, and then just start to take the arms slightly out to the sides. We want the wrists lower than the shoulders and just move them around a little bit. Good, and take them the other way. And right now, my cycle is on group low, uh, just as Steve recommended. So just to start to warm up, get my body used to it, even though we did it yesterday, it's a new day. Good, and then go ahead and just start to reach across the body, opening up the spine side to side. And I'm going slightly down here so that the blood can pool in my arm. Okay, I'm looking over the back shoulder as you reach. Four more. All right, and we're gonna start with three of our tried and true classics. Uh, wrist curls, tricep extension, and bicep curls. 
So starting to fire up the forearms first, I'm gonna bring my elbows in. I'm gonna have my fist facing upwards. The tops of my hands are up. And today I'm gonna to curl up and up. So notice no part of my forearm moves. It's just my wrist. So I'm really targeting this area of space right here. Go ahead and pull your elbows in. We've got our two 40 second sets. And we're gonna take the, nice one, the first set nice and slow and we're going. Just getting used to warming up those muscles up and up as the bands are working. And my spine, my hips, nothing else moves. I'm really targeting that movement. And I like to make it even more difficult on myself by really pulling my elbows in. Really tuck them in. You're getting engagement throughout the entire arm. Up and up, really squeeze your fists. Make it even harder on yourself. Yeah. Good. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead. Flip the wrists the opposite direction. So this time my palms are facing up. This time we're gonna curl the opposite direction. 40 seconds, let's go ahead and go. We go in, in. And you can imagine that you're holding like a 10 pound set of dumbbells here. So what would that look like? Really emphasizing the movement. In and in. Squeeze and squeeze, good. Elbows stay tucked in. <laughs> Good, half done. And squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. Last 10 seconds. Woo, pull them in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake the hands out. Give the wrist a wiggle. And we'll come right into our tricep extensions. So glue the elbows back in towards the body. I like to take a little bend in my knees, hinging forward so I can reach back even further. Because if I'm like this, it's hard to do that without playing out the spine. So the bigger the bend in your knees, the harder it's gonna be on the triceps, and that's what we want. You can even come all the way down, but it's not necessarily, it's not needed, okay? So first 40 seconds, we're going, make this, extend, pull it in. Out and in. Imagine you're pushing something away from you with your pinky finger as you reach all the way back, press. Rest, that's it. Now we know that the faster we go, the harder it is. So if you wanna pick up the pace here, that's totally up to you. As long as you're really reaching through the tips of the fingers as you extend back out and reach. Yes, I wanna see like a push at the bottom. Kind of explosive, that's it, good, last 10. Woo, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift and pulse, straight arms leading with the pinky finger for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll it out. Tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Switch it up, left arm across the body. Second set, you can go as fast as you wanna go, but you gotta keep moving, no pauses, okay? So take that bend in your knees. Nice straight spine, core is engaged. We're going in three, two, one. Press, press, press. That's it. Good, and as you're doing this, see if you can pull your shoulders down the back of your body so we don't wanna be all hunchy here. Yes, press, press and press. And keep going, I'm gonna check and see who we've got on today. All right, good, we're half done. Woo, I like those movements. Mm -hmm. Really straightening out the arms. Yes, last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and press and hold. Reach back with your fingertips as much as you can. Pull the shoulders down, little pulses now. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Eight, seven, smaller, six, five, beautiful, four, three, two, and one. Roll it out, good job. Now your arms should be starting to feel that burn because our bands are working. Let's go into our bicep curls. So go ahead and make this. Imagine you're holding a 10 pound and a 10 pound weight, or better yet, 20 and 20, go big. Whatever you can imagine, that would be really hard. And I want you to squeeze the elbows in again, slowly, as you press the elbows in, work all the way up and to about 90% of the way down. All the way up, 90% of the way down. Let's go for it, 10's rolling. Good. And the more you can press your arms in towards the midline of the body, squeeze your biceps, burst through those bands, the more the muscles are going to be activated and we're making efficient use of what we're doing. Yes. 
And the beautiful thing about these bands is when we're not using our bands, we use about 60% of our muscle fibers. When we have our bands on, we're at 90 to 98%. We don't even need weight. We can stimulate that half down. All the way up, squeezing all the way down. Good. And you can always add weights to this at home if you have them. Good. Last 10. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Bicep stretch. Clasp the hands. Straighten the arms out. All right. Second set. We're going to add that element of speed, making sure to restart our cycles between each set if you have not already done so, so we don't get a pause while we're doing the work. All right. Arms out. Make those fists. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. In, out, in, out. Just because we're adding speed doesn't mean that we release any tension in the muscles. So keep pulling the biceps in. In. Yes. There we go. Woo. Starting to fatigue. And if you're not starting to fatigue, squeeze your fist even more. Engage those muscles. That's what we want. We're going all in. This is the last set of these we're doing today. So let's make it count. Half down. Squeeze. Squeeze, yes, I love it. Woo, maybe even faster, all in. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms should be pretty tired here, shake it out. Grab a sip of water, because we're coming down to the floor next. We have two more exercises in our heart rate boost, then we're gonna swap it out for leg bands. So go ahead and take a sip of water. We sip, we don't gulp, as Steve taught us. I believe it was last week. Yeah. All right, and let's make our way down into our floor space. So I want you to imagine that you have a weight outside your right hand. And if you want to use something to stimulate a weight, you can grab a shoe or a water bottle. So I'm going to put that shoe right there. If you don't have anything, don't worry about it. It's a push-up reach through. So I come into my plank. I do a push-up. And then I reach through with my left hand, grab the item, move it over to the left. I push it, reach over with my right hand, move it over to the right. So I'm moving that item back and forth after each push-up. And if you don't have anything, imagine, same situation. Alternative, modification, do it on your knees, same thing, okay? So we're going to start in five seconds. Everyone make your way into plank. We have four, three, two, and one. Let me see that push-up. Grab your item, move it over. Push it, switch it out. Keep going side to side. And we know the rules here. We know how to do good push-ups. Your core should be engaged. Your hips should be engaged. Don't let them drop. Good. And as you move that item from side to side, try and keep your hip bones squared off to the floor. So we don't want to rock and roll. We want to use the arms and the core strength. Nice. Woo! Liam looks like he's on a boat. <laughs> Go, Kayleen, go. Where are you? Keep going. I am on a boat. You. You're on a boat. Of course you're on a boat. Last five. Four, three, two, and rest. Yeah. Liam's on a boat. Can we all acknowledge? Liam's doing the workout on a boat. Awesome job, bud. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm a little envious, but I'm also proud. Okay. Second set. If you want to add speed here, you can add speed. Alternatively, you can go in slow motion. So I would drop as slowly as possible, push up all the way, and then move that item, drag it across as far out to the side as I can. So my whole side of my body is working, so I don't shift down to the side, okay? So you can add speed or go slow motion. Second set in three, two, one. We come down, up, move that item, and go. <laughs> I love it. Cats everywhere. Nice shake. Mm-hmm. Good. Bonnie, I love the pace. <laughs> All right. Half done, guys. Good game. Lisa, I don't think I've met you before, but hello. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Go, Quentin, go. Last 10 seconds. Keep moving. If you need to pause and plank, you can pause and plank, but stay up. Stay active. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, roll the wrist out. Good job. All right, second plank variation. We can ditch the shoe or whatever you're working with. 
I come down onto my forearm. It is a forearm Spider-Man plank. So starting to warm up the legs for our work, I tap up, up, knees all the way up towards your elbows, up and up. My back does not move, my hips do not move. The only thing moving is the leg. And are we gonna sag into our shoulders or are we gonna push the floor away from us and keep it super active, I hope the latter. All right, everybody, forearm plank. First set, slow motion, ready and go. So lift all the way up, squeeze. Set it back. Other side. All the way up. Squeeze. Set it down. Keep going slow. Find that contact between your knee and your elbow. Better yet, your knee and your bicep. And if you don't quite get it, that's okay. That's exactly what we're working towards. Woo! Half done. Yeah. And noticing if your shoulders are rocking and rolling, we want to press the floor away. Keep them steady, strong. Don't let them move. Elbows underneath shoulders. Last 10. See if you can do only two more. Find contact. Knee to tricep. We have seven, six, yeah, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Come onto your hands. Walk the arms out. Shoulder stretch. Try and get those elbows off the floor. Better yet, come onto your fingertips. Make little tense with your hands. Drop your chest down between your ears. I even feel this in my armpits. All right. Make your way back into forearm plank. You can always do these ones on your knees too. Tap, tap. Now we did slow motion first set. Second set, I'm going for speed, but I don't want your shoulders to move. So I'm going up and up, but I'm not seesawing backwards and forwards. In three, two, one, go. Up, 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 up. That's the stuff. Yes, keep it up. This is our last arm exercise, and then we're doing the cardio. Press that floor away from you. Keep your shoulders active. Good job, Instagram. Keep going. All right, John. Go, Brandon. See if you can find that contact, even if you're moving fast. Mindful movement. Go, Jeff. Go. Woo. Last 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. Awesome, Bonnie. Yes. Good. Last 10. Give me all you've got for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Come on up to stand. So we've done a lot of sideways kicks in our cardio. Today we're going to do a forwards kick. So I take my hands together. I squat, squat, kick, squat, squat, kick. Okay? Doesn't have to be a jump. If you need to jump because you're a lunatic and you just want to go all in, squat, squat, up, squat, squat, up. I will not be jumping today. It's Friday. I've done plenty of jumping. Just food for thought. All right, next up, we have reverse lunge elbow to knee. My hands are behind my head. I step back, cross it up. Back, elbow to knee. Okay, we're doing 15 seconds per side. I'll tell you when to switch. Last one, twist jump. I go side to side. Okay. So first 30 seconds, squat to forward kick in three, two, one. Pulse, pulse, kick. Pulse, pulse, kick. That's it. If you need to jump, you can do it. <laughs> pulse, pulse, up. My body's so used to jumping. I almost want to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Woo! Hips back. Yes, last 10. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So reverse lunge, elbow to knee, hands behind the head. Starting with the right leg, let's go. We go back, up, back, up. Modification, just don't step the leg back as far, okay? Otherwise, knees down, up, back, up. That's it. Yes. Good. Get that knee all the way up. Use your core. Mm-hmm. Good. In five, we're going to switch sides. Three, two, one. Left leg back. Go. Up. Back. Up. Last ten. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Imagine you're holding a beach ball. Side to side. Twist. Jump. Hop. 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 The more you bend your knees, the harder it is. Work in the spine. 
If you're jumping light on the toes, you can always, you kind of have to jump here, but it can be a slow jump. Alternative, you can step. That's it. Let's go. Half done. Really get those knees side to side. We have eight, seven, six, lower five, four, three, two, and one. Sip by sip, water for everybody. Switch out your bands. Okay. The question of the day is, so we've talked about superpowers and dessert preferences and travel preferences. If you had a magic wand and you could wave it and make one wish come true, what would it be? Contemplate, switch out your bands, and we'll discuss. Feel free to toss it in the chat. Could we do this also in high plank? Sorry, Quentin, I just saw that. I think that was for the Spider-Man. Yes, you can. You can. It was just to give. So the question was, can we also do the Spider-Man plank, the forearm plank in high plank? And the answer is yes. The reason we did it in forearm instead of high plank um, was just to give our wrists a rest. And also when you're in forearm plank, it's a little bit harder on your abs. But anything we do in forearm plank or high plank, it's typically interchangeable. All right, superpowers, not superpowers. Magic wand, what's your one wish? Nothing? Gabe, I wish that poverty were not a thing. I like that. I think so far that's the only answer I've gotten, but that's my favorite. <laughs> People are suddenly rethinking like, I wish I could fly. <laughs> I'm with you, Gabe. What else? I wish I had gills Ooh. in the back here so I can swim and uh, swim faster, not have to worry about breathing. I like it. Can eat anything I want with no consequences. Keep working out with the band. You're there. I, Steve, I see school restarts. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair. I wish I, I didn't have to take my AP U.S. history test today. Oh. <laughs> Did you already take it? Yeah, I took it I uh, at two today. Well, how'd you feel? Did it feel like you did well? Yeah, I think I did pretty well. Okay. Well, congrats. It's done now. <laughs> Thank you. Someone else is trying to say something. Who did I miss? I wish the lineups weren't so crowded right now. What wasn't so crowded? Sir, the lineups. Remind me where you are again. Uh, Seal Beach. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, in Santa Monica, we just got allowed back on the beaches on Wednesday, so it's still pretty low key, but for you guys, it's popular. All right. Any other wishes? I like these. We're learning about each other, guys. I mean, we see each other every day. We might as well get to know each other. <laughs> All right. Leg bands are on. Hop on up to stand. Instagram, if you have a wish, feel free to go ahead and message me and we'll revisit it. So my leg bands are on. It's really hard to go too tight. Go ahead and hike those outer edges up towards the hips. And I'm actually going to tighten mine up a bit. And I appreciate everyone for sharing your answers. It makes it kind of fun. Spices up our workout. All right. Um, I'm taking mine on to medium cycle now. So I've done low for my arms. I took it easy today because I did feel a little bit dizzy yesterday. And I always want to be careful. Uh, I really don't think there's too much. Of, you can't really be too safe, right? If I do low instead of medium, it's fine. So now I'm going to up my game a little bit. And if you feel comfortable doing that, go ahead. Got our leg bands on, so it's hard to go too tight. Um, and let's just start to warm up the legs a little bit. Uh, spread the feet hip distance. Take the hands to the hips and just draw some big circles. Move it all around. And as you do this, you might feel stretch in the sides of the hips. We're getting into the spine. Good. And then go around the other way. And it looks like we have one more wish in our chat. I want to check that because these are really fun. He got an A. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Crushing AP history. Good. Come back through center. And then step your feet hip distance apart. 
We're gonna do two calf exercises today to start. So the first one is you're just gonna come up and we're gonna do what I call bicycle. So you're gonna lift alternating heels. So go ahead and just come up and do some bicycle. First 40 seconds doing this. And if you wanna make it harder on yourself, don't let your heels touch the floor. Yeah, there we go. Woo! And my body starts to sway and wiggle a little bit. So keep your core engaged, your glute engaged, so you don't sway. Good, half done. Mm -hmm. Nice, keep those heels up if you can. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set the heels down. Step the right foot back, push your heel into the floor, bend into the left knee, feel that calf stretch. I have my hands here and here to remind me of good form. You don't have to have your hands here. Good, switch sides. Step your left foot back, glue your heel down, bend into the right knee. Good, and then step the foot up. So now you can either do double heel lifts, try not to let them touch the floor. If you want more of a challenge, you're gonna keep your heels off the floor and you're gonna march, okay? So let me get my bands out of the way. Second 40 seconds, we're going in three, two, one. Either lower and lift or heels up, march it out. Woo -hoo. And it's really hard not to go forwards or backwards, just staying in one spot, especially if you're on a boat. <laughs> Good. Half done. Prancing around here. <laughs> I'm losing it. Woo! Good, last 10. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Both heels up, everybody, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. So, for our legs today, we have four exercises, two heart rate boost sets, and three of those four exercises are lunge variations. So we're going big on lunges. The first one is a side lunge elbow to knee. So I'm gonna see, I have a comment in here. I wish I had a dog. Oh, Jeff, a little late, but I, I like that wish. <laughs> you, can, you can probably get a dog someday, I'm optimistic. I'm curious to hear what kind, but you can share that after class. All right, side lunge elbow to knee. So I step my feet wide, take my hands behind my head, I bend into the right knee, come up, knee to elbow, okay? Alternative, if that's a little bit funky or scary, you bend to that knee and you just come up, twist. Bend into that knee, come up, twist, okay? So either variation is great. You're either working your spine or you're working your legs. Both you're working your legs, get a little extra core on the elbow to knee. So first 40 seconds, we're starting on the right side in three, two, one, bend into it, bring it up, down, and up, yes, sinking your hips back. Now notice that I'm dropping my belly towards my thighs, but I'm not hunching, none of this, so it's this, up, down, get as low as you can, up. Now my advice here is to press into your heel to get that elevation to bring you back up. Woo, there we go, half done, amazing. Good, in 10, we're gonna go right into the other side. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, bend into the left leg, bring it up, down, and up. That's the stuff, keep it up, guys. All right, <laughs> we have a variety of wishes across the board and I love each one of them. Good. I like it. All right, keep going, hips back. Half done. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Rest. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you can hear me? Okay, sorry, my headphones died. Okay, so that was awesome. We've got the move. 
Now we're gonna do one more set, okay? And I can't really think of any way to make this more challenging, except try and get lower into that side squat, so get your butt down even lower. But outside of that, these look fantastic. So let's set ourselves up again. Hands behind the head. Working into the right leg in three, two, one. Let's go. Down, up, get low, come all the way up. When they see your butt, touch your heel. Woo, that's it, yes. All right, good job, Instagram. Even lower, even lower. Now we're talking, good job, Quentin. Oh, Lily, I love it. Go, Chris. Good, making sure we keep our chest up, nice straight spine. Good, Cindy and Sophia, looks great. We have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch sides, last step. Big old bend into the left leg. Take it up and down and up. Press into the heel, last step. After this, we're gonna take a sip of water. Good, keep pressing the elbows back so we don't hunch out. Nice. Who is that? Jake, those are fantastic. <laughs> Friday lunge day, half done. Get low, remember, speed doesn't matter. All right, last 10. Make them good, as low as you can go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Nice job, everyone. Grab a sip of water. And take a gander at me so you can see our next exercise. So next up, we're gonna come back into a plank position, but we're gonna be doing some work with the legs. So we're gonna be in plank, and I'm gonna tap hand to opposite toe. Tap, 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 tap. Another option, hand to knee. Final option, on the knees, totally fine. If you can move slow and get your hand to your toe, that's ideal. So first set is slow motion. Opposite fingers to opposite toes. Let's all come into plank. Okay, so we have our two sets. First one, slow motion. I think it's even harder. And second one will go fast, all right? We're starting in three, two, let's go. Fingers to toes, tap, tap. Nice and slow, making sure that your shoulders Stay stacked over the wrist. There's a tendency to start to pitch back here. We want to keep our hips in line with our shoulders. Tap, tap, keep it up. Good, half done. All right. Good, always using our core to keep us balanced. Awesome, John. Go, Brandon. Kayleen's got it. Last five, four, three, Two and one. Draw the knees, quick rest. Give your hips a rock side to side. Okay. Second set, hop on up. Ready, set, fast pace, go. Tap, 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 tap. It's hard to do these really fast and not topple over. But this is where our bodies are used to the exercise and we can challenge ourselves a little bit more. Yes. Woo, good. Mm -hmm. Half done. Pick up that pace, last set we're doing. Don't let yourself tumble. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, get everything active, press the floor away from you with your arms. Last 10. Yes, Kaylee. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. To come out of it, tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll on up to stamp. Okay, we only have two more exercises to do for our leg strike. We're flying. So this next exercise kind of gets a negative connotation because it's called a curtsy lunge. Do not be mistaken, it is not easy. So I find my left leg, I step it behind my right, okay? So I'm on the toes of my back foot, and I notice this is gonna wanna splay out, squeeze it in. As you drop the back knee down, I want you to reach your arms up, and then rise to stand. Drop the back knee, arms come up, rise to stand. How do we make this harder? We shorten our range of motion. So we drop the back knee down, rise it only a little bit. 
back knee down, rise only a tiny bit, okay? We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Lift, down and up. We're working glutes, hips, and hamstrings, and this front thigh. So we're basically working everything. All right, good. Squeeze your hips. The farther over to the right you can step that foot, the better. Work into it. And the arm part's optional. You can always just keep your hands on your hips if that makes it a little bit more doable. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Good. Down and up. Down and up. Last 10, get that knee all the way to the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, pulse it, 10, nine, eight, squeeze, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest, good job. Right to the other side, find your right leg. Step it over to the left. Squeeze that left knee in, get the back knee down, and we rest down and we rise, time is rolling. If it feels wonky and not quite balanced, that's because it's not. Your feet are in two different planes. Do your best. Awesome. Woo, go Brandon. Nice, Chris, I like that pace. Slow is great. We want to work those muscles, so there is no need to go fast here at all. Keep squeezing your hips in so that front knee doesn't get sleepy and splay out to the side. Last 10. Yes. Good. In five, we're going to hold at the bottom and pulse. We have four, three, two, pulse at 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Shake it out. Woo. Okay. One more set, step your left foot back. I saw everyone squeezing, there was none of this, which I love, okay? So the further you can get that leg over, the harder it'll be. Drop your back knee down and rise, time is going. Smaller range of motion. Maybe we even just keep the knee down and work the arms, I don't know. It depends what your body is needing today, what kind of challenge. Yes. Good. Is your core working to support you? If not, pick it up. Awesome. Good. Try and keep a little bend in the back knee the whole time. Don't let it fully straighten. So the hamstring is constantly involved. Last 10. We're going to hold at the bottom. Isometric, no pulsing. Just drop the back knee and hold. Four, three, two. Get it down and hold it. Squeeze as low towards the floor as you can. Try not to let it touch. Drop even lower. Squeeze the left side of your glute for four, three, two. Step it up. Last one, switch sides. Step that foot over. Time is rolling. Let's go. Down. Little lift. Down. Little lift. Suddenly, a curtsy lunge doesn't seem like a wussy exercise. They're really hard. Amazing. Good. Activate your glutes. Imagine you're zipping your belly button up to your chin. Squeeze those hips, half done. I love it. In 10, we're gonna hold at the bottom. We have five, four, three, two. Get low, hold it. Half a centimeter off the floor for six, five, squeeze four, three, two, and one. Step it up, good job. Quick hamstring release, hands to shoulders, hinge forward. Come back up. Now let's add arms here. Reach your arms forward. As you hinge forward, bring your arms back behind you and rise on up. Hinge forward, reach your arms back, rise on up. Last one, reach forward, hinge, hold it. Keep dropping your belly button lower for six, five, four, pull your shoulders down, three, two, and one. Rise to stand. One of two, heart rate first. Squat to forward kick in three, two, one, let's go. Squat, squat, kick. Squat, squat, kick, pick it up. Maybe it's a jump, jump, kick. <laughs> Get your butt low. There we go. 
It's Friday. We probably get a break tomorrow. I'm not teaching tomorrow. Good, last 10. Then we're going for our reverse lunge, elbow to knee. We have four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head. Right leg back. Here we go. We go in, out, in, out. 30 second time is rolling. <sighs> Good, it can be a small move. As long as it's some kind of move with the arm and the leg. Good, in five, we're gonna switch sides. Four, three, two, switch. Other leg, step it back. Up, back, up. Yes, last 10. Woo! Think about getting your knee all the way up towards your elbow. Twist, use your core for five, four, three, two. Hold the beach ball. Bend the knees, twist and jump. Get even lower. Woo! <laughs> Why not? Good. Making sure that your hands stand by your shoulders. We don't want sleepy arms. Get that beach ball up with pride. Left hand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Last leg exercise. So, our final lunge variation. Reverse lunge kick back. So it requires some balance work. I love balance work. So I step back. I lunge and I kick. I lunge and I kick. Maybe your kick is small. Maybe it's a lunge, lift, lunge, lift, but try it. Keep the back leg straight on that kick. None of this. It's a knee up, okay? Starting with the right leg, left foot forward. Step that foot back. Make sure you're not on a tightrope. Left foot over to the left, boogie we'll it over. And let's go. Drop that back knee down. Hinge forward, kick. Drop, kick, that's it. Good. Yes! Everybody's kicking! So great, guys. As you kick, make sure that it's not compromising your spine. So this doesn't do anything. Squeeze here, up. Mm hmm Good, good. Last 10, then we're gonna go right to the other side. The bigger your bend is in the front knee, the more that leg is gonna work, the stronger it's gonna get. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, right foot forward, left foot back. So, the one thing I am seeing is on that kick, we're kind of going like that, we're rounding out a little bit. So keep it straight, squeeze, okay? Left leg, ready and go. Down, up, down, up, yes. All right, good. Keep the bend in the front knee, you can do it. All right. Last 10. Give me all you got. Big old kicks for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. One more set. One more heart rate boost. Brief balance. We're not doing core today. Our balance work is going to be our core. And then we pop them off and we stretch. So let's go. Right foot back. Left foot forward. Three, two, one. Lunge. Up, lunge, up. There we go. Diane, that is magnificent. Yes. Good. Jay, keep the bend in your front knee. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, Chris. Ooh. Everyone is doing it. These look great. Keep it up. Last four, three, Two and one, switch sides. All right, ready? Last one, set and go. Lunge, kick, mm-hmm. Down and up, last set. Get that back knee all the way towards the floor, up, down, up. Strong, strong leg, keep bending into the front knee, last 10, good. 
Nice, John. Great. Mm -hmm. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Squat to forward kick. Let's pick it up. Ready, set, and go. Squat, squat, kick. Squat, squat, kick. You can jump. Jump, kick if you want. Get your butt all the way down. This is our last set. Woo! Big old kicks, get your fingers to your toes. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse lunge, elbow to knee. Hands behind the head, right leg. Up, up, up. That's it. Yes. Woo. I like it. You guys, makes me so happy. Last 10. Using our core. Good. Switch. Other side. Sorry. <laughs> Other leg. Good. 10 more seconds. Yes. Nice straight spine. Use your core. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your beach ball. Bend your knees. Twist jumps. Last one. Maybe you work your way down. Work your way up. Work your way down. Work your way up. Get that core involved. Half to. Woo, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Moving everything around. Grab a sip of water. Okay. Now, if you use a shoe, or something else relatively flat on the plank pass through, grab it, pop it on top of your head. And if you don't have anything, you can imagine. If we can imagine what our one wish would be with a magic wand, we can sure enough imagine something on our head. Okay. Now, step the feet hip systems. This is all core and glute work. My secret to having good balance is really just that I have a really strong core, so I'm able to control the rest of my body. It requires nothing else besides that. And everything we did today, those like lifts and all that, shows me that you all have a really strong core, so let's use it, okay? Find your belly button, pull it in towards your spine, and then imagine you're lifting it up towards your chin. That's core activation, okay? Now find your glutes, give them a squeeze. All right, now the whole time, imagine someone poking in the belly button. Lift your right leg up. Set it down. I'm poking in the belly the whole time. Up and down. Good. Four. Woo. If you want more, arms out. Three. If you want more, arms up. Two. Lift and hold it. Now, baby bend into the standing leg. Press up. This is optional. Baby bend and up. We have four. Three. I'm poking in the belly button. Two. Last one. Good. Bring it down. Let's switch sides. All the way to the right leg. Pull it in. Set it down. Up and down. Arm options. Four. Three. Two. Lift and hold. Now, if this is a good place to be, hang here. Otherwise, bend that leg. Up, we're doing six, five, four, glutes, three, two, and one. Good, bring the hands down, remove whatever you've got off your head, even if it's imaginary, toss it out of the way, go ahead and remove your bands. We are stretching for eight minutes. And we're doing stretches to release almost every part of our lower body. So this should feel pretty good, okay? Doesn't mean it's not gonna be intense, but afterwards you'll thank yourself for doing it. So we have four minutes per side, okay? So make your way onto your mat or your workspace into the tabletop position. We're very familiar with this, okay? 
Once you come down, step your left foot up between your hands. Hands come onto the left thigh, and we bend into that knee for a stretch across the right quad and the right hip flexor. And think growing taller as you press your hips down. Mm -hmm. Squeeze your glutes. The more you bend into it, the deeper stretch you're going to feel. If you're wanting even more today, reach back, grab the right foot. <laughs> Good. 30 more seconds here. In order for a stretch to be effective, we have to hold it for at least 15 seconds. We're going a minute because we want really good stretches. Awesome. Start to shift your weight back. Bring your hands down to the floor and walk that left foot forward. If you can't get it fully straight, get it as straight as you can. Now, if you want to go deeper, let your upper body hang. So that first one was for the right thigh and the right hip flexor. This time we're working the left back of the leg, the hamstring. Good, relax the upper body. Let your forehead fall down towards your thigh. And find your left hip, keep pulling it back and your right hip forward. Good, four more breaths. 20 more seconds left. Wonderful. Now, come onto your fingertips. Step that left foot back. Take your hands inside the foot and then bend the elbows, get as low as you can. So if you can take more onto the floor, if that's not happening, just root your hands in the floor and bend your elbows. Good. 30 more seconds. Keep pressing left knee in towards left shoulder. We don't want to let it splay off to the side. See if you have the opportunity here to slow your breathing down. Telling your body it's okay, we're just stretching. And then keeping your foot exactly where it is. This is going to look backwards to you guys because I'm near to my screen. I'm going to angle my toes out to the left and I let that knee fall open to the side. So I want to keep pressing my hips down. And if you want more, you can take your left hand to your left knee and gently encourage, don't force it open. So the more I lift my chest up, the deeper that stretch is going to be it's for the inner thigh. And gentlemen, this one's typically a little bit harder for you, so I'm sorry. I know it's a lot. Good. 30 more seconds here. We can do it. This is our last stretch on the side. Hips down, chest up. And I'm actually on the outer edge of my left foot. So if you want to roll that open a little bit, you can. And last 10. Beautiful. Now together, we're going to rotate that foot to face forward. Bring your hand down. Step your left knee back and give the hips a wiggle side to side. All right. Let's do the other side. So this time, I step my right foot up between my hands. I bring my hands onto my front thigh. I call this the proposal. And remember, you can move your feet around to feel more stable. You can also hold onto a ball, bend into that front knee. And I want to do everything in my power to lengthen my left quad and hip flexor. So hips down, chest up. Squeeze to protect the lower back. Mm -hmm. And notice here where you might be holding tension in other parts of your body. So if you're all hunched up, relax something. And with each exhale, see if you can drop your hips a little bit lower. The way we breathe can dramatically affect the way our body reacts to what we're doing. So the more we can keep a slower, even pace of breath, our body says, okay, it's okay. All right, let's work our way out of it. Hands down to the floor. Start to walk them back. And then kick that right leg forward. If it's like this, and that's as deep as you can go, great. We're working towards straight. And once you're there, dropping your forehead down towards your thigh. We've got a minute here. And this is our second of four. Letting your shoulders, your forehead, your jaw relax. 
last 20 seconds. See if you can pull your right hip back, left hip forward, makes it a little deeper. And really pull your toes in towards your shin. One more breath. All right, make your way onto your fingertips. Pull your right heel in. Take your shoulder inside, and I like to scoot my back knee back a little bit, and start to bend into the elbows, getting your forearms as close to the floor as they'll go. And even if you just stay on your hands, and this is a heck of a stretch, that's great. Pull that knee in towards your shoulder. Don't let it slide. One minute. Imagine you're breathing into the outer right hips, that space that feels really tense. Relax your fingers and toes. Three more breaths. Good. Now last one, keeping that foot where it is, angle the toes out to the left, or to the right, sorry, drop the knee open. You can take your hand, encourage it. Notice if you're sagging and rounding here, press up. Good. 30 more seconds. All right. Now start to rotate the foot forward, take your hand down, step your right knee back, rock your hips side to side. Drop the hips over to one side so you come down and sit, give your shoulders a roll. Clasp your hands, press them forward. Press them up. Push, push, push as much as you can. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, release your hands. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job, everybody. <laughs> Jeff, I still want to know what kind of, what kind of dog you're really wanting. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> uh. Where is he? All right. Everyone All have right. a great weekend. Well, thank you we'll very be here much. Time, same place tomorrow. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.